Hello crafters and welcome back. This is Anna Bradshaw and it's the time of the month where I share some of the goodies I've created using my latest kit from embellishkits.com. Remember, this kit was packed to the brim with the gorgeous deep jewel tones of the Legacy Collection by Simple Stories. Die cuts, chipboard stickers, enamel dots, twine, and plenty of full-size patterns for scrapbooking are included in this alternative kit number 17. There are full color examples and detailed instructions inside to complete two double page layouts with plenty left over for additional projects. I always start by grouping photos over my kit while it's still in the package because I can see at a glance how many photos I need, where they're going to be placed, and which backgrounds will complement my photos. Next, I spread out the die cuts and decide if there are some that really speak to the stories I want to tell. Sometimes I'm looking for creative ways to hide distractions. Remember how I covered up a man in a bright yellow shirt in this pic? You can still see it reflected in the water. I also look for themes I can build clusters from, like we did with these included Prima flowers, and those signature Simple Stories blossoms layered over coordinated pattern paper background images. I enjoyed this page I made covering our Father's Day festivities so much, I had it up on display in the living room all month. Remember, all of the embellished it kits are customizable, so experiment with photo arrangements and don't be afraid to mix and swap out patterns. You can pretty much guarantee any combination of items from these kits is going to give you fantastic results. I love this page too. My brother-in-law visited our state earlier this year and this picture shows how much fun our little Sunday had with him. Look at those grins! Small embellishment clusters arranged in a visual triangle around the page highlight the title, the story, and supporting photos as well. By doing a fair amount of paper trimming, I was able to preserve a large portion of my pattern papers, so for my bonus projects, I created two additional single page layouts. They coordinate so well I can put them side by side in my album, so maybe it's technically only an additional double pager. This page tells a heritage tale of ingrained berry picking skills being passed down from generation to generation. The die cuts and cut aparts prompted me to tell a story we take for granted. Hopefully you'll be inspired to do the same. And some of those larger scraps I held back, like that dark brown background with the big bold flower print, found a home on this page that talks about how much I enjoy having my grandmother over to our house for visits of any length of time. As the years go by, we can really come to appreciate those moments captured by the camera and in our hearts. And there's no place like a scrapbook to house those visual reminders of familiar, familiar love being shared. Now, I was almost out of paper, but I still had plenty of embellishments to add to a couple quick card fronts. Lots of flowers over florals here, and a simple travel theme card with rich details already included. I just glued them together! So, six layouts, two cards, and more to come on Instagram from this alternative kit number 17 by embellishkits.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe to this channel for more, and stay crafty out there, peoples!